It's Temple Tuesday. I'm Joey and I'm here at the Community of Christ Temple in Independence, Missouri. And today we continue our journey up the worshiper's path toward the temple sanctuary. Now, as you walk through this beautiful etched glass piece of artwork, this entryway that reminds us of the experience of a 14-year-old boy who, filled with questions, goes out in the woods to pray, looking for answers, and there has an encounter with the divine, with the living God. And immediately, we are drawn to the second piece of artwork, another example that takes us back even further and connects us in deeper ways to the origins of our understanding of a living God that is looking for us, humanity, to come and participate in God's work. This story of the burning bush and Moses is one that is shared among all of the major Abrahamic religions. And so it's a story that's found in Judaism, Islam, and of course, the wider Christian tradition. But just take a moment to look at the beautiful textile art that is done here. This multi-dimension and multi-layered, beautiful reminder of a story of Moses, who is just going about his day, walking with his sheep, when all of a sudden he decides to stop and with intention turn with holy curiosity to see what's going on around him, to see maybe what God might be up to around him. And as he comes closer to that encounter and that experience and God's activity, God sees that Moses has stopped and turned. And God calls out, Moses, Moses. And as Moses begins to approach, it becomes quite evident that Moses is standing on holy ground. I love this piece of artwork being the very first thing we see before we have to intentionally here in the temple turn and with intention walk toward the encounter that we are expecting to have when we come into this holy space. We too are invited to look around us with holy curiosity to see what God is up to in our lives, in our neighborhoods, in our environment and out in the world and to turn towards that encounter and to begin to participate in God's activity. It also takes us back to the Israelites and the people that were enslaved, in bondage, oppressed. And this moment, this encounter leads to activity and participation with God in a way that liberates an entire people. So just imagine when we also turn with intention and walk towards God's vision for the world, how it might liberate all of creation. So here is your challenge today. Take time to turn with intention, with holy curiosity, to see what God is up to out in the world that activity that God is participating in. And as you walk toward that activity, listen for the ways that God may be calling you by name to participate, to come and be a part of God's vision for the world. A divine encounter in which you may begin to see that you too are standing on holy ground. And we'll see you next week.